Okay, what are we working on today? Here is a hard disk. I already removed it from the PCB. As you can see, I'm cleaning the solder balls. Um, as you can see right there, there is one missing pin here. There is one missing pin. And you might think that this pin is actually empty, like uh, the pin is not useful like the other pins are. But if you take a look carefully, you will see that the pin is actually it's actually useful it has an integrated line going into the inner layers of the pcb as you can see i had to clean it then make sure that i recover the pin because that pin is very important so that's why i'm cleaning the points right here that's why why i'm cleaning so that everything will, will look great before i go on re repairing that so i removed it the the, the chip already and I want to reball the component. So this is actually the hard disk. And uh, right now I have to zoom in so that we can have a clear look on the on the point that we are working on. As you can see, if you take a look, you will see that uh, there is a point right there, and we need to have access to the point to be able to fix to be able to fix it, right? So I had to drill to make it look clear. And uh, yeah, I actually need the the area to be a little bit wider because of the way that I want to repair it. It's actually good. As you can see, the point is showing right there. The point is showing. And I'm testing the diode reading. And uh, yeah, it's actually okay. So it means that we just have to, to repair the point. So this is the easiest way to repair this type of... Uh, this type of broken tracks as you can see you just look at what i'm doing right here i just put the solder paste and uh, yeah i just applied some heat applied heat this is uh, the best way i mean the cleanest way to fix this type of uh, open circuit is it open circuit yeah it's like an open circuit one right? type of damage point as you can see that's it right so i just make everything to look clearly and uh, what i have to do i have to check the resistance which is the diode reading of the point and it's actually reading which means that everything is connected after doing that so i had to put my what is it again yeah, this is actually a glue right right i had to put the glue adjust it then use my uv light to cure it to cure it you understand so yeah as you can see it looks really great looks really great and uh, I had to trim down the solder. So at this point, you need to work on the area carefully. So this is the best way to do it. And you need to make sure it's not too hard. So as you can see what I'm doing right here, I think that's actually the, the, the best thing to do in this situation. So that's all that I did to, to, to work, to, to make it work. As you can see right there, it's actually cool, right? And uh, okay, great. If you want my professional mobile repairing course, that's my WhatsApp number right there. You can send me a message on WhatsApp for more information. I have two courses, the level one course and the professional level course. So as you can see, I tested the reading was there, which means that, uh, yeah, everything is okay. It's connected, right? So now we have to work on the chip. I have to reball the chip right now. And I'm going to show you how I do that. Okay, great, right here. So, talking about my course, I also have my course available in my YouTube store. You can check the, the link in the video description or the pin comment. You can actually purchase it from there. Right now, it's actually cheap at this moment. As you can see, yeah, I cleaned everything and the reading was still there, which means that, yeah, we are actually good to go. Okay, so which means that right now we have to work on the chip, right? So like I said, we have to make the solder balls of the chip bend uh, reball. So we have the chip right here. We just have to clean it off because it's still the way that we removed it from the PCB. So we just use our soldering iron then clean everything up. So telling you the temperature that I used to remove the chip, I used 350 degree. So you can use that 350 degrees to 370 but keep in mind this temperature settings depends on how you handle it i'm surprised to see people actually using 500 degrees to remove and replace components that's totally insane but they do that quite all right they do that perfect 
with a very high uh, temperature. So it's all about how you handle that. So this is here, I've noticed that. <laughs> As you can see right here, I'm making the solder ball. See right here. And you just removed it and uh, here it looks green, right? The pins are all good. So what I have to do, I just have to clean, clean this. Make sure everything is okay. The small solder parts right there, I have to take them off. Okay, if you are new to my channel, I'm saying it's might right here. And uh, if you want to learn more videos uh, about more recurring videos, you can check on my homepage. I have a lot of videos in which you can start with. And if you want to go through everything in great details, yeah, I have an online course. That's my number right there. You can send me a message and you won't regret getting my courses. I tell you, they are very important and the details are great of each lesson, the details are really great so you can see right here okay so now we are preparing the chip as you can see making sure that there are no uh, unnecessary uh, solder points as you can see right there yeah everything looks good right so we just replaced it and uh, we set our temperature you can set your temperature between 270 to 350 depend depending on the type of solder that you are using yeah I keep that in mind but right here I'm using 180 solder and it's we also have 130 is it 130 right yeah we also have 130 I'm using 180 right here which means that it needs a lot of heat so the temperature you can use between uh, yeah 270 but keep in mind you don't have to overheat the components like i said it's all it all depends on how you handle all this there are people actually doing this perfectly without the by setting a very high temperature so it's all about how you you handle all this you understand so which means that if you set the temperature high you will need to know the 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 time limit that you have to hit the component so that's the secret of uh, setting all this temperature airflow and all that stuff you understand so as you can see yeah everything is good right here and this is all we needed to do right it's all we needed to do i hope that you learn something from this video and you can actually take some time practice especially if you want to be doing chip replacement revolving all that stuff you just have to do practice and you'll be good to go.